Hi, it's Dwyer, GamblersAdvisory.com. Let's discuss a fight that just ended. I did not make a pre-fight video on the fight, but I saw the fight. It was Arthur Abraham against Peter Wilzuski, I believe you pronounce his last name. And all I can say is the scoring, in my opinion, was a complete travesty. Now, granted, people disagree with me. I was scoring the fight on my channel page at gamblersadvisory.com, the YouTube channel page, and there were a couple other guys online scoring the fight with me, and they disagreed with me. They thought it was a close fight. I didn't. I thought Peter Wisniewski was teaching Arthur Abraham how to box. He had a much more active jab and he was the one backing up Abraham for most of the fight. I didn't think it was close. Quite frankly, at the beginning of the 11th round, and I concede Abraham won the 11th round, but at the beginning of the 11th round, I pointed out that on my scorecard, Abraham needed a knockout to win the fight. Now, I would encourage everyone, and I haven't seen punch that numbers. I haven't read a single report on the fight. It literally just ended minutes ago, but I would encourage everyone to take a look at this fight and take a look at the scoring. It is outrageous. Any fighter who's contemplating fighting in Germany against a house fighter, and that's what Abraham is at this point, because this fight would have been scored differently in any other country, needs to really think twice because in my opinion they're giving gifts to house fighters in Germany. I consider this fight to be more lopsided than the Macklin Felix Sturm fight and the scoring to be even more preposterous. As you watch the fight and I know Abraham's hitting harder than Peter is but just ask yourself how many jabs is Peter landing? Who's dictating the tempo of the fight? Why is Abraham for at least the first four rounds of this fight on his back foot? What is Abraham doing really to win any of these rounds? Let me point out, I had Peter winning the first four rounds of the fight. There is disagreement. Somebody else scoring on my channel page gave Abraham the first three rounds, right? I'd just like to know what exactly Abraham did because Peter never hits the canvas, right? And he's the one who's backing up Abraham. Keep in mind, if there isn't a knockdown in the fight, if there isn't a knockout in the fight, and if one guy is landing more punches than the other guy and is dictating where they are in the ring, I would argue that the guy landing the more punches who's dictating where they are in the ring, who's having his way in the ring, is the one winning the fight. Now the judges saw this differently. These judges must have been the judges in the Gabriel Campillo Tavares Cloud fight or the Derek Chisora Robert Hellenius fight because I don't know what's going on. So let me just say this. When you hear that Abraham won this fight, before you start saying that Abraham is back, all I ask is that you believe your own two eyes and look at the tape of the fight. Fortunately, the fights in Germany often are on YouTube 24 hours after they happen. You'll have an opportunity to watch the fight. Now, I don't dispute that Abraham is the harder puncher but he lands so few hard punches in this fight that clearly, in my opinion, he's being outworked and he's being outboxed. I thought Peter won this fight by several rounds. I'm surprised at the decision. My voice is just one voice. Let me know yours. Let me know what you think. Leave your comments for me here online. Visit us at gamblersadvisory.com. And let me say this too. You know, Peter is a serious fighter. 
right? Um, he's shown that he can hang in there with DeGale, and I believe he's shown he can beat Abraham by several rounds. He's an underrated fighter, so in his next fight, he's someone you want to keep an eye on. Thanks for watching.